Dear students, in the previous session you have studied general introduction of D and F block elements, their position in the periodic table, electronic configuration and some of the physical properties and the trends and variation. D and F block elements of class 12th. Today you will study about the ionization enthalpies, oxidation states, Trends in the standard reduction potential that is from the metal ion in 3 plus state to metal atom. The trends in the metal ion in 3 plus state to metal in 2 plus state. Standard electrode potentials. The trends in the stability of the higher oxidation states. Chemical reactivity and standard electrode potential that is E naught values. The properties of D block elements. Let us first study about the ionization enthalpies. There is an increase in the ionization enthalpy along each series of the transition elements from left to right due to the increase in the nuclear charge along with the filling of the inner D orbitals. In the table shown you can see the values for the first three ionization enthalpies of the first row elements. These values show that the successive enthalpies of these elements do not increase as steeply as in the main group elements. Many small variations also occur. Although the first ionization enthalpy for the successive elements in general increase the magnitude in the increase in the second and the third ionization enthalpies is much higher along the series from scandium to copper. Table shows you the first ionization enthalpy of transition elements. First ionization enthalpy of 3D, 4D and 5D series is tabulated in the table. As learnt in the module 1, when D block elements form ions, N s electrons are lost before N minus 1 D electrons. The irregular trend in the first ionization enthalpy of the 3 D metals though of little chemical significance can be accounted for considering that the removal of one electron alters the relative energies of 4 s and 3 D orbitals. There is thus a reorganization energy accompanying ionization with the transference of s electrons into the d orbitals and from some gain in the exchange energy as the number of the d electron increases. So, the unipositive ions that is m plus have d n configuration with no 4 s electrons. You can see there is the general expected increasing trend in the ionization enthalpy values with increase in the effective nuclear charge. However, the value of the chromium is lower because of the absence of any change in the D configuration and the value for the zinc is higher because it represents an ionization from the 4 s level. The trend of the first ionization enthalpy of the first, second and the third transition series. The lowest common oxidation state of these metals is plus 2. To form the M2 plus ions from the gaseous atoms, the sum of the first and the second ionization energies is required in addition to the enthalpy of atomization for each element. The dominant term is the second ionization enthalpy which shows unusually high values for chromium and copper where the D5 and D10 configurations of the M plus ions are disrupted with the considerable loss of the exchange energy. The value for zinc is correspondingly low as the ionization consists of the removal of an electron which allows the production of the stable D10 configuration. The third ionization enthalpy is not complicated by the 4 s orbital factor. The trend in the third ionization enthalpy shows the greater difficulty of removing an electron from the D5 that is Mn2 plus state and D10 Zn2 plus ions superimposed upon the general increasing trend. 
In general, the third ionization enthalpies are quite high and there is a marked break between the values for manganese 2 plus state and Fe 2 plus ions. Also, the high values of the third ionization enthalpy for copper, nickel and zinc indicates why it is difficult to obtain oxidation state greater than 2 plus for these elements. Although ionization enthalpies give some guidance concerning the relative stabilities of oxidation states, this problem is very complex and not amenable to ready generalization. Now, the oxidation states. One of the notable features of a transition element is the great variety of oxidation states it may show in its compounds. Figure shows you the variable oxidation states of the 3D, 4D and 5D transition metal series. The table shown on the screen lists the common oxidation state of the first, second and the third row of the transition elements the different oxidation states of the transition elements. The most common ones are in the bold types and the less common or the unstable are given in parenthesis. The elements which give the greatest number of the oxidation states occur in or near the middle of the series. Manganese for example exhibits all the oxidation states from plus 2 to plus 7. The lesser number of the oxidation states at the extreme ends stems from either too few electrons to lose or share like scandium or titanium or too many d electrons. Hence, fewer orbitals are available to share the electrons with the others for higher valency copper and zinc. Thus, early in the series scandium in the 2 plus state is virtually unknown and titanium in 4 plus state is more stable than titanium in plus 3 state or titanium in plus 2 state. Let me tell you children, in the parenthesis, the numbers given in the Romans is the oxidation state. At the other end, the only oxidation state of zinc is plus 2. No d electrons are involved. The maximum oxidation state of the reasonable stability correspond in the value to some of the S and D electrons up to manganese. Let me tell you in the given formulas, below you can see superscript in Roman numerals that represent the oxidation state of the transition metal in the given compound. Titanium dioxide, vanadium dioxide, chromate ion, the permanganate ion followed by a rather abrupt decrease in the stability of higher oxidation states. So that the typical species to follow are Fe that is iron in plus 2 and plus 3 state, cobalt plus 2 and plus 3 state, nickel in plus 2, copper in plus 1 and plus 2 state and zinc in plus 2 state. The figure shows you the crystals of vanadium oxide. Vanadium is in the plus 5 oxidation state. You can see the figure. Again the figure shows you the bonds between the oxygen and vanadium in the crystal lattice. The figure shows you the packing of the oxygen and vanadium in the crystal lattice. Vanadium oxide. The figure shows you the vanadium pentaoxide in monolayer. The variability of oxidation states a characteristic of transition elements arises out of incomplete filling of the d orbitals in such a way that their oxidation states differ from each other by unity. Example, vanadium from plus 2 to plus 3, plus 4 and 5 oxidation state. This is in contrast with the variability of the oxidation state of non-transition elements where oxidation states normally differ by a unit of 2. Another interesting feature in the variability of the oxidation states of the D block elements is noticed among the groups group 4 through group 10. Although in the P block the lower oxidation states are favored by the heavier members due to the inert pair effect. The opposite is true in the groups of the D block. 
it is a frequently asked question that compare the oxidation state of the transition metals with the main group elements that is the representative elements. For example, in group 6 molybdenum in plus 6 state and tungsten in plus 6 state are found to be more stable than chromium in plus 6 state. Thus chromium in plus 6 state in the form of the dichromate in the acidic medium is a strong oxidizing agent whereas molybdenum oxide and tungsten oxide are not. Low oxidation states are found when a complex compound has ligands capable of pi acceptor character in addition to the sigma bonding. For example, in tetracarbonyl nickel and pentacarbonyl iron, the oxidation states of the nickel and iron is zero. You can see their structure on the screen. Again, it is a frequently asked question. Do transition elements show zero oxidation state? The answer is yes. The terms complex and the ligands are discussed in the module 1 of unit 9 that is coordination chemistry. Let's take few examples. The example number 1 is the first ionization enthalpy value of zinc shows a higher increase while the second ionization enthalpy value drops off in the otherwise increasing regular trend in 3D series. Explain. For attempting such questions based on the ionization enthalpy, better if you first write electronic configuration. Zinc has fully filled configuration. The inner core is of argon 3D10 4S2. Earlier I have told you Ns electron is removed prior to N-1D electron. The first ionization enthalpy represents the removal of the 4S electron while the second ionization enthalpy consists of the removal of an electron which allows the production of the stable D10 configuration. So, the second ionization enthalpy value drops off. Let us take another example. Why the second and the third ionization enthalpy of manganese and iron show anomalous dip in the values across the period? Answer is the manganese and the iron attain stable half filled configuration 3D5 in plus 2 and plus 3 oxidation states respectively. So, they show anomalous dip in the values across the period. Another question, name a transition element which does not exhibit variable oxidation states. The answer is scandium with atomic number 21. It does not exhibit variable oxidation states. One more question, which transition metal of the 3D series exhibits the largest number of the oxidation states and why? Manganese atomic number 25 exhibits the largest number of the oxidation states because it has maximum number of electrons Ns and N-1D electrons available for the bond formation. It exhibits all the oxidation states from plus 2 to plus 7. Now let us study about the trends in the M2 plus iron 2 metal atom, the standard electrode potentials. You have studied in unit 3 electrochemistry that how standard reduction potentials of the different metals are measured using standard hydrogen electrode. Figure shows you the arrangement of the two half cells to measure the electrode potentials. Now table shows you the thermochemical parameters related to the transformation of the solid metal atom to M2 plus ions in the solution and their standard electrode potentials. The observed values of E0 and those calculated using the data of the table are compared in the figure. Again the table shows you the thermochemical data in kilojoules per mole for the first row transition elements and the standard electrode potential for the reduction of metal from the 2 plus state to the metal atom. The unique behavior of the copper having a positive standard electrode potential accounts for its inability to liberate hydrogen gas from the acids. 
only oxidizing acids like nitric acid and hot concentrated sulfuric acid react with copper, the acids being reduced. The high energy to transform copper from the solid atom state to copper 2 plus state needs 3 energies. The ionization enthalpies is not balanced by its hydration enthalpy. The general trend towards less negative standard electrode potential values across the series is related to the general increase in the sum of the first and the second ionization enthalpies. It is interesting to note that the value of E0 for manganese, nickel and zinc are more negative than expected from the trend. The stability of the half fill D subshell in Mn2 plus and the completely filled D10 configuration in Zn2 plus are related to their E0 values, where E0 values for nickel is related to the highest negative hydration enthalpy. Disproportionation You know is it is self oxidation and self reduction. Many copper compounds in the plus 1 oxidation states are unstable in aqueous solution and they undergo disproportionation. You can see the reaction, copper in plus 1 state changes into copper 2 plus state and the copper neutral copper atom that is in the solid state. This is an example of disproportionation. The stability of the copper ions in the 2 plus state rather than copper ion in plus 1 state is due to the much more negative hydration enthalpy of copper 2 plus ions than copper plus ions which more than the compensates for the second ionization enthalpy of copper. Figure shows you the observed and the calculated values for the standard electrode potential from M2 plus ions to solid metal atom of the elements from titanium to zinc. Figure shows the observed and the calculated values for the standard electrode potential from metal 2 plus ion to metal atom of the elements titanium to zinc. Why is chromium 2 plus state reducing and manganese in 3 plus state oxidizing when both have D4 configuration? The answer is the chromium in the 2 plus state is reducing as its configuration changes from D4 to D3, the later having a half filled T2G level. Let me tell you the details of the T2G level will be discussed in the modules of coordination chemistry. On the other hand, the change from manganese 2 plus to manganese 3 plus results in the half filled D5 configuration which has extra stability. Another example, the standard electrode potential from M2 plus to metal atom value for copper is positive that is plus 0.34 volts. What is the possible reason for this? The answer is, what is the possible reason for this? The answer is, the standard reduction potential for the copper is positive that is plus 0.34 volts because the sum of the first and the second ionization enthalpies for copper is very large due to exceptionally high second ionization enthalpy which is not compensated by the hydration enthalpy of copper in 2 plus ions. Another example, Cu plus has fully filled D10 configuration, but plus 2 is the common oxidation state for the copper atom. Explain, the hydration energy of Cu2 plus ions is more negative than Cu plus ions and more than compensates the second ionization enthalpy of copper. So, though Cu plus has fully filled D10 configuration, copper exists as Cu2 plus in the aqueous solution. Let us study about the trends in the conversion from the metal ion in 3 plus state to the metal ion in 2 plus state, the standard electrode potentials. An examination of the E0 values shows the varying trends. The low value for scandium reflects the stability of the scandium 3 plus ions which has a noble gas configuration. 
the highest value for zinc is due to the removal of an electron from the stable D10 configuration of Zn2+. The comparatively high value for manganese shows that Mn2 plus having configuration D5 is particularly stable. Whereas comparatively the low value for iron shows the extra stability of Fe3 plus ion having D5 configuration. The comparatively low value for vanadium is related to the stability of V2 plus ion. About half fill 2 Tg level you will study in unit 9 module based on the chapter coordination compounds. Now let's study about the trends in the stability of higher oxidation states. Table shows you the stable halides of the 3D series of the transition metals. Table shows the formulas of the halides of the 3D metals. The highest oxidation numbers are achieved in titanium tetrahalide and vanadium pentafluoride. The plus 7 state for manganese is not represented in simple halides but manganese fluoride trioxide is known and beyond manganese no metal has a trihalide except FeX3 and COF3. The ability of the fluorine to stabilize the highest oxidation state is due to either higher lattice energy as in the case of the cobalt fluoride or higher bond enthalpy terms for the higher covalent compounds example vanadium pentafluoride or chromium hexafluoride. Figure shows you the halides of the manganese and vanadium. Manganese fluoride, the color code is the manganese is in light purple color and the fluorine F is in yellow green color. Figure shows you the vanadium fluoride. This figure shows you manganese trifluoride. Although vanadium in 5 oxidation state is represented only by VF5, the other halides however undergo hydrolysis to give oxohalides like VOX3 vanadium oxohalide. Another feature for fluoride is their instability in the low oxidation state. Example, vanadium halides VX2 where X can be chlorine, bromine or iodine. Let's see the structure of the few halides. Vanadium tetrachloride. The figure shows you the structure of vanadium tetrachloride. The next figure shows you the structure of chromium chloride. Cuprous ions, the cuprous halides, Cu, X3, on the other hand, all Cu2 plus halides are known except the iodide. In this case, the cupric ion oxidizes iodide to iodine. The equation shows Cu2 plus ions and the iodide ions when react it forms cuprous iodide and iodine. The ability of oxygen to stabilize the highest oxidation state is demonstrated in the oxides. The highest oxidation number in the oxides coincides with the group number and is attained in scandium oxide to manganese heptoxide. Beyond group 7, no higher oxides of Fe above Fe2O3 are known although ferrates and are formed in the alkaline media but they readily decompose into ferric oxide and oxygen. Besides the oxides oxocation stabilizes vanadium in plus 5 oxidation state as vanadium dioxide as oxo vanadium cation and titanium as plus 4 oxidation state into titanium oxide. The ability of oxygen to stabilize these high oxidation states exceeds that of fluorine. Thus, the highest manganese fluoride is MnF4, whereas the highest oxide is Mn2O7. The ability of oxygen to form the multiple bonds to metals explain its superiority. In the covalent oxide Mn2O7 that is manganese heptoxide 
each manganese is tetrahedrally surrounded by oxygen including a manganese oxygen manganese bridge. The tetrahedral ions are known for vanadium, chromium, manganese in 5, 6 and 7 oxidation state. The table shows you the oxides of the metals. The figure shows the ability of oxygen to form the multiple bonds to the metals and how manganese shows highest oxidation state in oxoanion. Let us take one example. How would you account for the increasing oxidizing power in the series vanadium dioxide, dichromate ions and the permanganate ions? This is due to the increasing stability of the lower species. You can see vanadium in plus 5 state, chromium in plus 6 state and manganese in plus 7 state to which they are reduced. Another example, how would you account for the irregular variation of the ionization enthalpies first and second in the first series of the transition elements? The answer is the irregular variation of ionization enthalpies in the first series of the transition elements is due to the stability difference of different configuration of the transition elements. For example, D0, D5 and D10 are remarkably stable. For example, the first ionization enthalpy of chromium is low because after losing one electron, chromium exhibits a stable electronic configuration that is 3D5. Zinc has most stable electronic configuration 3D10, 4S2 due to which it is very difficult to remove an electron from zinc atom. Therefore, zinc possesses very high ionization enthalpy. The second ionization enthalpy of chromium and copper is very high because the second electron is to remove from very stable configuration of chromium 3D5 and the Cu plus 3D10 state. The chemical reactivity and the electrode potential values. The transition metals vary widely in their chemical reactivity. Many of them are sufficiently electropositive to dissolve in mineral acids. Although a few are noble, that is they are unaffected by the single acid. The metal of the first series with the exception of the copper are relatively more reactive and are oxidized by one molar hydrogen ions. Though the actual rate at which these metals react with the oxidizing agents like the hydrogen ions is sometimes slow. For example, titanium and vanadium in practice are passive to dilute non-oxidizing acids at the room temperature. The standard electrode potential values from M2 plus to metal atom state indicate a decreasing tendency to form divalent cations across the series. This general trend towards less negative electrode potential values is related to the increase in the sum of the first and the second ionization enthalpies. It is interesting to note that the E0 values for manganese, nickel and zinc are more negative than expected from the general trend. Whereas the stabilities of half filled D subshell D5 in Mn2 plus and completely filled D subshell that is D10 in zinc are related to their standard electrode potential values. For nickel, E0 value is related to the highest negative enthalpy of hydration. Table shows you the electronic configurations and some other properties of the first series of the transition elements. Now let us discuss few more questions. An examination of E0 value for the redox couple M3 plus to M2 plus state shows that Mn3 plus and cobalt 3 plus ions are the strongest oxidizing agents in the aqueous solutions. The ions in titanium 2 plus state, vanadium 2 plus state and the chromium in 2 plus state are strong reducing agents and will liberate hydrogen 
from a dilute acid. Let us see the equation. When the chromium ions in the 2 plus state reacts with the acid, the chromium changes into chromium 3 plus state and hydrogen gas is evolved. Let us do a few questions based on standard reduction values. Why is the E naught value for the manganese 3 plus state to manganese 2 plus couple much more positive than that for chromium 3 plus to chromium 2 plus state or Fe 3 plus to Fe 2 plus state? The answer is the much larger third ionization energy of manganese where the required change is D5 to D4 is mainly responsible for this. This also explains why the plus 3 state of manganese is of little importance. One more question, why is the highest oxidation state of a metal exhibited in its oxide or fluoride only? The highest oxidation state of a metal is generally exhibited in its oxides or fluorides only because the fluorine and oxygen possess very high electronegativity. They can oxidize the metal to their higher oxidation states. Now, let us summarize. In this module, we have learnt about the ionization enthalpy, oxidation states, electrode potential and the chemical reactivity of the transition elements. Successive ionization enthalpies do not increase as steeply with increasing atomic number as in the main group elements. Hence, the loss of variable number of the electrons from the n minus 1 d orbitals is not energetically unfavorable. There is the general expected increasing trend in the ionization enthalpy values with the increase in the effective nuclear charge though small variations occur. The variability of the oxidation states, a characteristics of the transition element arises out of incomplete filling of the d orbitals in such a way that their oxidation states differ from each other by unity. The general trends towards less negative standard electrode potential values across the series is related to the general increase in the sum of the first and the second ionization enthalpies. Thank you.